So first, thanks for having me. Uh, I'm Rusmir, as uh, Lana said, uh, and uh, we are launching Bloomberg Adria multimedia business platform in the five countries of Southeast Europe, from Croatia to Macedonia. And if you didn't he heard about it already, then I need to speak with my agency, Pristop, that they didn't do the, such a good job. So I was kind of under the impression that they are really doing an amazing job. Uh, jokes aside, uh, so um, I develop media projects. Um, you know about N1, N1 was one of my, my babies. Uh, but after that, I continue working with CNN, Euronews, and Bloomberg, developing uh, their franchises in multiple countries. The last one was Euronews Serbia. Uh, but now we are focused on uh, Bloomberg Adria, which is kind of totally different thing from multiple perspectives. Uh, so it's been quite a couple of years under development. This video shouldn't be on right now, but yeah, you see some of my guys. Uh, so uh, when we reached Bloomberg to uh, do Adria deal, uh, it was quite unusual uh, because Bloomberg as a media company is not so much inclined of doing local, uh, local deals. Uh, because Bloomberg Media is mostly support to Bloomberg terminals, which makes a ton of money. Uh, so they really look deeply into the new market opportunities and they have a zillion questions and they, uh, you need quite a few hoops to jump through. Uh, and we approached with the idea of combining five different countries into one project, which is something they never did before. Uh, they usually do one market and unfortunately in our region, every single country was too small for Bloomberg project. So pitching them Bloomberg Adria was unusual to begin with. And then after that, we also uh, said, we want to launch entire Bloomberg Media platform. And again, they usually do only TV channels or only digital platforms. We said that doesn't make sense in our market because if you want to be successful, and we do, we need to launch everything you have on the local languages and the local market. So what this project is going to be at the end is a multi-platform with a Bloomberg Adria TV channel. Uh, which we will produce from five studios in five countries. Uh, we are going to produce a single TV channel for 3.5 million households uh, that will have access uh, with our program. Uh, we'll use a lot of Bloomberg content, but majority of the content will be actually uh, our local production uh, between our five teams. You see, you see some of these guys on the video here. Uh, we were wanted to present a bit more, but still. Uh, the second. And the most important part is the digital platform. Uh, so actually, uh, we consider Bloomberg Adria as a digital first operation. Uh, we have five teams in five cities, and uh, we are going to split our digital platform to actually five sites. So when you join us from Croatia, you will get creation version of the site. And actually, we do have uh, someone who is developing that for us right now. You saw her today, uh, Yasmina, and she's our chief digital officer. Sorry for pointing out. Uh, uh, third part, which is really important to us, is uh, live events. Bloomberg globally is a business leader in high-end live events and conversations. We want to utilize that in the entire region in multiple ways. So we are going to have uh, regional conferences like this one here on some different topics, but we are going to have a lot of networking events in every of five cities. Basically, the idea is that we want to have business community um, speaking freely within our network, and all uh, events we plan to do will be invitation only. And the fourth part is the Bloomberg Business Week. So actually, Bloomberg, uh, the leading, one of the leading global business magazines is uh, Business Week. We are going to have monthly edition, which will be a combo of uh, Bloomberg International content, uh, and also uh, content that we are going to produce uh, from our five countries. So that is kind of, in general, what we are going to put uh, out there. Uh, in the back end, the things are slightly more complicated. Uh, because when we started uh, talking with Bloomberg about this project, look, it was all cool. We pushed them to do uh, Adria deal. We explained uh, all markets. We explained uh, all platforms. And then uh, we sit with the Bloomberg HR, and we had a huge stop at one single point. It was like, OK, you want to do this? Do you have a staff in Southeast Europe? Do you have a journalist that are capable of producing the content on Bloomberg level? And the answer was hard no from the day one. So we kind of knew that we are entering the market 
where we don't have a staff, the journalist, the economy journalist, who can actually write on the level that we need uh, to be uh, written on the Bloomberg level. Uh, that was a tricky one to pass, so we kind of then understood we need to start from the beginning. We need to find uh, young people, new guys, the guys with some experience and background, and we need to train them a lot. We need to learn them a lot, which created huge pressure on our HR because when you are headhunting for a media project, uh, you're always putting the people out of their comfort zones. Uh, but in a news channel, you are doing that for a few steps. But in a Bloomberg Adria, we are putting these guys two miles out of their comfort zones. You're headhunting a person and you're trying to explain, yeah, but you know, uh, what we want you to do, at this moment you don't know how to do, so you need to learn, like, a lot. Uh, luckily, we managed to put a team together that is extremely motivated. At this moment, our team is learning a lot. Luckily, again, a deal with Bloomberg also enables us to use all the Bloomberg trainings and know-hows, and especially like Bloomberg has online learning platform. So actually, right now, the Bloomberg Adria staff is going through um, online lessons on multiple business topics, and they need actually to pass a certificate and get certificate from Bloomberg that they understand certain topics so they can actually write about them. Still, that was not good enough for us. Uh, because when we look very deeply into the regional business media, we kind of understood that everything we want to talk about, the regional media that is business related, they actually don't do it. Uh, it's like open field for us. Uh, certain topics, when we uh, develop the project, we, we try to look what kind of topics are there and how would we cover it and what is current media doing. Um, and we were some kind of even disappointed. Like uh, a lot of huge business topics which were covered, let's say, very poorly. Uh, we had an example, for example, last year when um, Slovenian Petrol bought Creation Products Company. It was, if I remember correctly, like 200 million plus M&A deal in Adria region. And the entire media coverage literally stopped at the press release. So the media would take press release and they would stop there. So I, as a viewer, I didn't understand anything about that deal. I didn't understand products, numbers and results. What happened since Mr. Chermak bought them? Uh, what are the EBITDAs margins and so on? What is Petrol doing? How deal happened? Uh, what's the value of the deal? How many EBITDA is transaction? And so on and so on. What Petrol is going to do with products? Uh, what will be the benchmarks for the future? And so on and so on. So actually we saw like quite a lot of topics that are simply not covered in the way that tomorrow uh, Bloomberg Adria would cover them. For us, having transaction like that is a breaking news that lasts five days. I want to know everything about it. From every pos uh, position, every perspective, I want to have analysts uh, talking about it, uh, executives talking about it, and that is something that we usually don't see. Uh, the second example that we look very deeply was like when uh, Coca-Cola Hellenic Company uh, bottling co bought uh, uh, Bambi in Serbia. It was 260 million euros deal, and I was actually watching, uh, looking some news last night, and one of the leading business media in the region uh, announced 260 million euros transaction with a sentence that uh, Bambi had strong profitability, and the word was strong, uh, and that their EBIT was three times bigger than Coca-Cola EBIT. I didn't understand a si single thing of that. First, uh, profitability is not strong. Profitability is a number. I didn't get a single number. And it was like three times bigger profitability than Coca-Cola. Okay, but which Coca-Cola? Company or uh, CCHBC? Uh, and then you want to go further. What I want to know about that deal. Uh, what CCHBC is going to do with uh, Bambi? It's out of their core products. Uh, what are their plans? Uh, what is the value? How many EBIT does this tran uh, transaction? I wanted to understand why Mid-Europa partners sell. On which price? Why now? Uh, what they did in the last couple of years since they bought the Bambi? And so on and so on and so on. So there are so many questions about these very big transactions happening in our region that we simply don't have a, 
answer to those. And we are coming with a platform that actually needs to give this. Coming back to our staff problem, we will do everything to train our staff to be really good at covering this. But since the day one, we understood there is a huge element missing. And it's analytics. So at this moment, we figure out that our team, uh, beside digital journalists and TV presenters and producers and journalists, needs to have a third component, which ultimately is the critical one. Uh, and now in Bloomberg Adria, we will have internal analytics team. And uh, we just had hunted and will announce next week our chief market analyst, who is now building his own team of analytical people, and we are headhunting them from all Deloitte's and KPMG's. Ultimately, our internal analytics team will be something that will make a difference between what we do and what the others are trying to do. Uh, for every subject that we are going to cover on Bloomberg Adria, basically we are going to do a triangle. A digital reporter, the TV reporter, an analytic person will have actually decide how we are going to develop the story, what will be the angles of the story, and who are going to cover the story. And that is something that at this moment has not been done. Uh, so we are now kind of merging these three different teams. And it's interesting to watch. Um, a couple of days ago, we had our first editorial board, and we had our chief market analyst, our head of TV, head of digital. They're coming from three different countries. And uh, listening to them to actually trying to figure out how they will work internally was something really interesting, and it took them a couple of hours. But then we end up in actually talking, what would we cover today? What kind of news? How would we approach it? And by a chance, we had a situation that uh, Creation Telecom uh, issued first quarter results last week. And again, it was literally just a news. Uh, from my perspective, when Creation Telecom has quarter results, that's a two-day topic for us. I want to understand all the numbers, all the margins, all the trends. I want to analyze internally. I want to speak with analytic, an, analytic guys who are covering HD from other perspective. I want to talk with CEO, with CFO. I want to, I want to understand everything. That. I want to cover it for a couple of days. Uh, and then, at some point, I want to cover the other telco companies. So at the end of the month, in my business magazine, I want to have first quarter telco industry overview all the informations that actually at this moment uh, I can't find on business media in the region. Of course, we wanted to test all of these ideas actually in the real world. Uh, so we, we investigated a lot. We did a lot of research. Uh, the last year we partnered with one amazing creation company called Human Act, and we did like the series of um, 40 very in-depth interviews with business leaders, like C-level guys. And they were really in-depth. I remember uh, one of the guys asked uh, us, why do you want to know by my bathroom schedule? And we said, no, no, no. We want to know which device are you taking to bathroom. We wanted to understand how they consume media, what they're missing on the media, which device they are using at which part of the day. Uh, we wanted to understand our opportunity to impact their day through multiple devices. But what we learned from them is actually that they don't have a media that speaks their language. There is no media that speaks about EBITDAs and ROIs and margins without dumbing it down. Because when you go to normal media, the kind that you want, whatever you say to be understood by the simple viewers, this will be the platform that will not care about that. We are extremely niche platform. I don't think that there is more than 30 to 40,000 people in this entire region that are actually our target group. And that's fine by us. We don't need any more people. But we want to create kind of safe haven for these guys. We are going to talk about your issues, your problems, companies and results. We are going to talk with your language. And you will, you will know that the guys who are watching you actually are the same ones who understand. So when you go tomorrow to Bloomberg Adria to talk about your quarter results, you don't need to think about how can I make this simple so everybody can understand me. Uh, on the other side, we need to create our people good enough to ask high-quality intelligent questions and to have conversations that are, let's say, almost peer-to-peer, -peer because we need to build uh, our team to be uh, on, that, on that level. Uh, 
so it's a work in progress. We are very close to a launch of the entire platform. Uh, we believe that we are bringing something totally different to a market. In the last two weeks, we uh, selected 70-ish of um, CEOs and chairmen and owners of the biggest regional companies, and we did uh, first TV interviews. So we went to visit them, uh, we recorded a lot of content. Uh, two things that surprised us. Uh, first, when we target this group of people, a lot of them don't talk to media. Majority of them would do print interview, which we all know is pre-prepared, done by PR team, written and so on and so on. So very few of these people will put themselves in situation to be talking on a live TV. So we kind of expected that our turnout rate will be about half. It was totally different. If we targeted 70, we had 65. And we had the people who usually never talks to a media that were very happy to sit with our journalist and talk about very serious stuff. They were extremely prepared, very happy to have a chance to talk uh, with Bloomberg. And in interaction with them, we saw like they really need a platform like this, where we would come and discuss and talk about serious business stuff without any view from kind of political angle. Uh, that was one thing that we were happy. I wouldn't say surprised, but happy with. Uh, so when we actually start putting this content on air, you will see in the first couple of days, the really the leading business people in this region who usually don't speak to a media. Of course, the power of the brand plays a certain role uh, in that, but the feedback was they're really happy with how this all happened. Uh, we have a couple of weeks to launch. Um, yeah, and one very important thing. Um, Bloomberg Adria digital platform will be behind the paywall. So whoever wants to see our analysis, our interviews, our news, and everything we are going to put together, will actually have to pay for it. And uh, from us, that's also a sign of differentiating the market. We really want to be a kind of safe haven for those 30, 40,000 people that wants to use this content. Uh, in the last couple of months, we met with a lot of CEOs to explain them project. And um, one interesting conversation was with one of the leading banking CEOs in the entire region. And we had a 30-minute slot, end up talking probably like two and a half hours. And at the very end, um, he asked a very interesting question. He said, two years down the road, forget about numbers, numbers of users, rating shares, whatever, advertising. How will you treat, how, how will you know is this project success or no? We spoke about it a little bit. And so the, the, the answer we came up with was that uh, two years down the road, when um, four of you met on a business lunch, the one who is not part of Bloomberg Adria is slightly embarrassed for not being on that platform. Um, so I think that's in a nutshell uh, introduction to Bloomberg Adria. We planned it to be quite different, uh, but yeah, I hope you understand the, the basic stuff. I uh, hope you will have a chance to watch us, read us, be part of our platform. Uh, and we are very looking forward to redefining the business media in this entire region. I okay, hope. so, um, j j just one second. So we'll have it with sound. Um, just hold a second. I think that it must be. Yeah. Can we pause it for, for please? Uh, so, uh, we are producing a lot of videos now. And um, actually, this is our first promo, which uh, is premiering right now, right here. We waited uh, this to be put on our social media after today. We had quite a few more videos, but unfortunately we can't show them. But, uh, so this is just like two and a half minutes, us presenting our own TV team. Uh, so TV team is from five different countries. Uh, and uh, there are some media people, some non-media people, and we're really excited about uh, these guys becoming the faces of Bloomberg Adria in the years to come. So can we have it now with sound, please?
Ovo je moj tim, tim izuzetnih. Dobrodošli na Bloomberg Adriju.